this is probably gonna be episode 9, and I don't have anything planned for this episode, but I did end up finishing the modern house that I was building in the last episode, so let's just take a look, okay? Let's go through the front, and you can see a little bit of it. So, I completely furnished the house, and I have some exciting things that I added. Um, you might notice there, there's like a mailbox out here. Um, so I actually downloaded a couple of mods. Um, and these are like furniture mods. And they add like a bunch of these really cute things like mailbox, for example. Um, stone bath. And I'll show you more as I go inside. So, as you enter the front door, you're greeted by a nice dining area. So this comes with the back. same houses, 
on both sides, kind of like what you see in, like, the city, you know, it's like the same neighborhood, they have the same style of houses, so I just made this into a small, um, I don't know, like a small street of these same houses, um, I used world edit to completely replicate these, it took me so long to figure out how to do it, and a lot of trial and error, and I know you see some things in the background, and I'll get to that, but yeah, so I just completely replicated these two into this side, it is literally the same, but I, the world added definitely helped me with that a lot, because building these individually would take me a very long time, so I'm glad I was able to use the world edit mod to figure this out, so yeah, four of these beautiful houses, uh, I think in the next episode I'll start doing giveaways, um, because I always forget, so next episode I'll give I'll do giveaways, and hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy it, but what you guys might be wondering is why are there actual cars in the streets, and I'll let you know why I, so the mod, the, um, the um, furniture mod that I have is actually the reason why I have these vehicles, I was looking up the furniture, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this out, downloaded it, tried out all the furniture, it looks great, and I thought, I'm missing cars in this town, so I was like, okay, let's do it, let's see if they have it, and look, they actually have cars, it's by, I think, the same person, Mr. Crayfish, and he makes these amazing little cars, and I can actually show you real quick, um, so yeah, instead of making you build it, is an option, you know, for like, um, survival, but instead of doing that in creative, they offer you these pre-built vehicles that you can choose, like aluminum boat, ATV, a bumper car, a goat, a couch, which is literally just a couch with wheels on it, like dirt bike, all kinds of things. The one I like the most, because it's more, um, more normal, is the, um, smart car, which I will show you how they spawn. So you just hold it, and you right click, and boom, there's a car, and you do, how do I enter, I forgot, okay, so right click to enter, left shift to dismount, and I'll show you, actually drives very nicely, so yeah, <laughs> this is like amazing, and it goes up this little ramp too, so it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, so as of now, you know, the city is only like one, two streets, so obviously these are not that useful, but I decided to put them around town to make it look more lively, you know, like actual things are going on, so I parked two cars over here, I parked one outside, um, and then, remember the office that I have, I actually put a bunch of cars here, <laughs> um, just to um, you know, make it look less empty, so you can see that I have, um, a lot of smart cars, a big van, uh, a little moped over there, so yeah, uh, let me get out of the car real quick, okay, so the thing is, even if you're in the vehicle, you can still break things, so, um, I forgot what these were, I think it's, let me fill it back up, because I accidentally destroyed it, I think it's black concrete, but I could be wrong. Okay, it is. Alright, thank god I found the right one or my OCD is gonna go crazy. But, um, let's take a small, uh, quick area view of the town so far. As you can see, I'm building a lot on this side. You know, I'm filling out the small residential suburban area and then I'll move on to this side. But obviously, um, none of these are planned at all, which is like crazy for me because I'm just going by like what I feel like doing that day, so eventually um, I'm gonna start expanding this way and actually start building more streets, because as of now it looks very populated, but I kind of want to expand on it, you know, so I might actually start doing like more of these, you know, just to fill up some space instead of having every individual unique building all across town, which is... I feel like it's gonna be a lot of work, so I'm, uh, yeah, 
that that's something to um, work on. Another thing I did is I actually furnished the third floor of the office. So let's go take a look. Since the furniture pack have quite a few, um, close that door, OCD, have quite a few of those office kind of things. So I decided to just work with that. I have a nice waiting area, nice place to f uh, file cabinets, you know, the nice reception desk. A lot of lamps, a lot of light in this building. So, first cubicle, we have two desks on this side. So, um, yeah, so it has like a nice drawer you can pick and then it kind of connects. I mean, I just think this is very impressive. And then on the side is a, um, a solitary um, cubicle and I didn't want to make it too crowded. I could have fit into the desk here, but I didn't want to do that because I want some open area unlike the bottom floor which everything was cramped. And then this is like the place for you to do meetings or meeting with clients and everything. So a very nice and small office. I quite enjoy building these and furnishing is kind of like my favorite thing to do besides building it. Um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I think, yeah, it's quite, it's, I don't know how long I've been filming, but this is going to be like a shorter episode. Instead of making this too long, you know, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and Then I just added a couple of things and you know, you can tell that I was very excited about this pack because I went back to the older buildings and I added these actual tables, you know a fridge a sink. I mean these sinks are beautiful. It's very modern looking, you know but if you are um, interested in these pack, I probably would just leave a link in the description and you guys can go check it out. But I have to give credit to the person who created this. Um, so Mr. Greyfish, thank you for your great mod. It's beautiful. Um, it's amazing. And I'm just very excited to start building with these in the future. Um, yeah. And then I think I went back to this one too and I Oh, I didn't. Oh, which one did I go to? I think that was the only one. And then I, I basically haven't touched Minecraft in a couple of weeks um, after those two episodes. Unfortunately, it didn't do so good. But it's fine. I know a lot of you still enjoy it. Um, as long as like a couple of you enjoy it, I'll continue making those videos. But, you know, like I said, I want to diversify my content. So, on and off, I'm gonna keep making these regardless. Um, so that's all we have for today. Um, I can start talking about what I wanna do. Um, actually, let me just pave the road real quick as we do that, so you can actually hear some block sounds and you can hear me talk at the same time. Uh, these are cobble. So, yeah, um, sorry, I like had the burp, I couldn't speak, but I want to expand this road down this way, but I also want to add like a road down there instead of making like a cross, I want to keep it, you know, less uniform, you know, instead of making a big intersection. Let's add some little roads on the other side first and then go from there. Um, let me just make sure. I think it, I did one block or was it two blocks? I don't know. Let me just uh, fill in the space first and I'll go check on the other side but obviously they don't have to be completely the same but I kind of want to keep this part the same like for the sidewalk I know this side is too and I don't want to embarrass myself today because I completely forgot how to use the world edit so I'm gonna have to go back and google it and watch a couple 
I'm placing vehicles around and I'm very excited to start building more roads so we can actually use it. And I might actually just open up that um, gated area on the bridge because I don't know, I think it's about time we open that part. I know, story-wise, it's a zombie apocalypse, but you know, that was just a joke. But how nice would it be if I actually opened this area and start building onto that side? So after this little uh, bridge area, which I'm still very impressed that I did that, I, I don't think I can replicate this again, but then we can actually build something on this side and start expanding that way. See, the whole reason of me adding this part was to kind of have an end, you know, like this is gonna be where the world ends, or the town, and then start expanding that way. But then I'm starting to wonder if it's good to include this bridge as like a centerpiece of the town or something. But yet yeah, everything is to be discussed. Um, how funny would it be though to actually have zombies just like locked in here and just like they can't go anywhere <laughs> that's crazy but i thought about adding like actual villagers in the town but then i hate how i can't keep track of them so i just decided not to that would be very annoying if i just can't keep track of it but yeah um that's all i have for today um did a little building the sidewalk but next episode we're probably gonna start working on some bigger projects so thank you thank you for joining me today i'm very very thankful to have you guys um stay tuned for the new episode and more videos are coming i hope <laughs> nothing is recorded yet but let's wait and see um thank you again i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>